Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. Now, I'm not a big coffee drinker. In fact, I'm not a coffee drinker at all. But today, I'm going to be reviewing Manhattan's special espresso coffee soda. And this soda has a, um, you know, uh, I would say a little bit of a cult status. Uh, you know, there's... It's been around for a long time. It says since 1895. And, you know, I think it's got a legion of uh, supporters and people who really uh, love it. And so I've heard of it before, never had it. I was happy to find it at a local market uh, called Coastal Provisions. And let's see, Manhattan Special is for Manhattan Special uh, bottling in uh, 12 ounces because I knocked it up from the 10 ounce serving size. This is a this is a 10 ounce bottle to the 12 ounces that I use as kind of a common baseline on soda tasting to kind of compare all sodas. Um, by their nutritional facts. So in 12 ounces here, you have 192 calories, you have 66 milligrams of sodium, and you have 48 grams of carbohydrates, 46.8 of which are sugar. Now, this definitely has caffeine in it because the ingredients include pure coffee, but uh, I can't, there's no mention on the bottle, I couldn't find it on the website, so I sent them an email, and if I hear from them, I will have that caffeine total in the uh, description for this video. And it is sweetened with uh, sugar. The ingredients are pure coffee, carbonated water, sugar, caramel color, and preserved with potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate. Manhattan Special Bottle Incorporation, Brooklyn, New York, 11211. It says it is hand-brewed from freshly roasted coffee beans. And, you know, it's a, it's a neat little bottle here. And, like I said, I'm not a, not a coffee drinker, but I've definitely heard of this before, so I'm... Um, interested to give it a try, and it's says it's twist off, and I feel it coming, but no, I'm gonna go ahead with the bottle opener here. And when I say I'm not a coffee drinker, I you know, the coffee flavor is okay to me. Gosh, this is a tough one for some reason, and that's nice. I better. Let that chill out for a moment. So I took a pause to kind of clean up a little bit here because uh, though it wasn't a huge mess, it was starting to drip towards me. And you can see, I haven't, even, I haven't tried to open it again, but you can see a nice little uh, head forming there. Um, definitely attractive looking. And you can smell coffee. It's, you know, the very pronounced smell. Boy, I, there we go. There we go. I don't know. All right, and I cleaned up another puddle of coffee and uh, got the cap off. And look at that. Look at that uh, foam up on the top of that bottle there, just kind of poking out. Man, I don't know, this bottle uh, did not open in a very friendly style, so... But yeah, it's like this impenetrable thing of <laughs> foam at the top, it's funny. I've never seen that, actually, before. So, yeah, um, you know, I think this area where I record is going to smell like coffee for a little while, because definitely get that coffee smell. So let me try to pour some. All right. All right, there we go. Sweet. Got some out. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not a coffee drinker, and I don't drink coffee plain, straight. I like the flavor of coffee as an accent to stuff, and I like Starbucks Frappuccinos, but I don't really even qualify them as coffee, more as a chocolate dessert with some coffee flavor in there. So, yeah, I don't really expect to like this if it tastes a lot like coffee, and because the number one ingredient is pure coffee, I expect that it will. You know, big time coffee smell, so let's give it a taste. All right, so this is really a coffee drinker's soda. Um, you know, I think if you love coffee, then I think you're gonna, you might love this um, because it definitely is coffee. It's got a coffee and sugar vibe definitely going there, as the ingredients uh, would have you expect. It's very strong in the coffee. It's very, very strong. You know, don't expect, uh, you know, I don't know, don't expect anything but coffee. That's what you're going to taste is coffee, coffee, coffee. It's not like cream soda coffee or something. It's definitely coffee, coffee soda. So it's it's very true to that. It's very um, pure in that regard. And you know, I have to say, I'm just not a fan of coffee or the coffee flavor. So to me, this isn't a very appealing soda. I'm not a big fan of the flavor. And before anybody gets mad at the rating that I'm about to give this soda, 
um, and, you know, the fans of it come out and, you know, leave me some comments and stuff. You know, the important thing to remember about soda tasting is that it's just my taste. And, um, you know, I've always been very honest about that. And, you know, it's just my taste. It's all a matter of taste. You know, my least favorite soda may be someone else's favorite. My favorite may be someone else's least favorite. So I'm just really giving you my opinion on the soda. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure to the right person, to the right people, this is the best soda in the world. Um, it does have a very strong coffee flavor. So if you love coffee, then, you know, definitely check it out. And, uh... Hopefully I've, I've exposed this soda to some people who wouldn't have otherwise uh, seen it. Because even when I give a soda a low rating, people still want to say, you know, I, I still want to try that. I didn't know that was out there. Um, or maybe I'm going to try it and see if I agree with them or I disagree with them, etc. So my rating is going to be 1.5 out of 5. Um, that's how I feel about this as far as my personal taste is concerned. Now, have you had any Manhattan Special? Um, Manhattan Special Espresso Coffee Soda. If so, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and you can comment on YouTube or on sodatasting.com. I wanted to mention that on sodatasting.com, there is a uh, little new feature added to the website where on the individual reviews, you'll have related episodes. So that's a good way to discover other episodes related to one that you may have liked or a soda you may have liked. And you can see other sodas by that brand or similar flavored sodas, etc. So check that out at sodatasting.com. Thank you for watching. And as always, everything in moderation.